to take a shower attempt to comb my hair out hopefully i'm not completely bald by the time i'm done with it oh, i need to wash my hair and get packing because today is officially the last day we will be on the island i'm talking a little lower because the girls are still sleeping it's still very early i don't even think it's six in the morning yet but yeah i'm a little sad to leave i'm kind of like stressed out to like pack and stuff we have to be checked out of here by like 11. i know i have enough time but something in my brain gets anxious when i have tasks to do so yeah i have some stuff to do and then i have to go around the house and pick up stuff um i may have some things in the bathroom and um on the patio and stuff like that so i just kind of want to get it all out the way that way like i can enjoy my time um closer to the time that we have to leave the hotel or the condo i'm gonna go ahead and start on my shower and brush out this freaking hair <laughs> i just wanted to say good morning guys it's still dark outside too out of the shower and I feel good I wanted to take one last night but I was so tired and I honestly started to not even feel well so I'm like you know what just take a shower in the morning um and it feels good I felt I, I really enjoyed that shower but right now I'm probably about to go through my things and start packing and sorting what's clean and what's dirty and then um repack my carry-on and my um purse <laughs> This um, nice older man walked up to me and we talked for about 15 minutes. He's so funny, he's from Canada, but he says he comes out here every year and I believe he said he owns a building that way. So he was catching me up on how Canadians do things and I was letting him know I wanted to visit Canada this year with my same two friends. He was asking where and was giving recommendations on where we should go. I'm not gonna lie. Just because traveling by yourself, you know, you got to be careful um, talking with strangers. But so in the beginning, it was giving me some sort of taken vibes. Um, but he was actually really, really nice. And a lot of people in the area kept saying hi to him, which tells me that they probably know him. So that was nice. But it's really windy, as you can see. And um, my left hit says it's, it's actually really windy. It's 68 degrees and there's a 30% chance that it's already raining. Bye Hawaii. Bye Hawaii, it's been super super fun. Um, I'll be back, a different island, but I will be back. All right you guys, we are officially checked out of our hotel. We're going to, um, Gabby's recommending this store called the ABC store for um, gift shopping and things. Is there more stuff to do there? Pretty much gift shopping. Gift shopping, and then we're gonna go to Walmart for a couple of things before we fly out. We might um, sightsee, and then we'll return the car rental, head to the airport, and, you know, make it do what it do. Like, 
Good. But I'll take you guys for the adventure if there is one. Okay, bye. Damn, they be going crazy out in Maui, period. Hey guys, so I just want to give a quick little haul. We went to the ABC store. I didn't get any footage of the inside of the store, but I wanted to show you guys what I got. Um, it was kind of like a little gift shop slash travel stop place. Um, so for the flight, I got some more Dramamine because your girl is nauseous. I found some Hana tonic. It's actually for nausea relief, but it's for when you drive on the road to Hana. But I just thought to try it because it was only like $5.99. And then I got some funny little... <laughs> I got some funny little soap things. This one says filthy balls. This is only $3.99 and then this one says filthy pussy. And that was $3.99 as well, but they smell good. This one smells like mint and rose. And then this one smells like tangerine. Gabby showed me some like marinate rub and they look really, really cute. I found some pineapple and ginger hot sauce made in Maui, Hawaii. And then Gabby showed me this like uh, Hawaiian condom. So I bought it. <laughs> and then I picked me up some uh, Hawaiian chocolate. I got a few of them. Picked Joyce up a nice little necklace, um, bracelet. And then I picked up a Hawaiian mask. That was pretty much it. But I loved that store. Gabby, thank you for showing us. You were a real one. Um, but yeah, you guys, now we're on our way to our next adventure. I don't know where we're going. Were you wanting something to eat? Or oh, before we get on a plane. So you guys, I decided to go with the plant-based eatery. It's a nice little um, food truck and it actually looks really yummy. And I got the, I think it's, um, what is it? I got the vegan fish and chips and then I got a Hawaiian um, sunset lemonade. So it sounds pretty good. Gabby and Taylor got fish tacos. They look really good. This is the um, Hawaiian sunset lemonade. Oh. City of Punani. That's probably how you say it though. Bye Punani, but stinker. You said 32? Yeah. 38? Um, 36. Alright. Gabby's filling up the tank. Let's see how much it is. We're having difficulties pumping gas. Okay, just stay still. 32, 38, 36. I said 36. You said 32. You said 32. Don't move, Gabby. Fix me in the back of the ankle. Literally attacked your face. Uh oh. Let's see. Uh, Taylor's out. I'm about to be out, too. I wanted to say 40. We all know. Damn it! Well, 438-38. Hey guys, hold on, the tram is passing so it's really loud. So, we dropped the car off. It's really windy so hopefully you can hear me okay. But we dropped the car off. Right now we're waiting at the tram station to go back to the airport, but we're not in any rush at all. We keep letting the trams just pass because it feels so good. And we sort of kind of have a layover. Um, our plane, we're, we're early because we had to drop the car off an hour early and our plane doesn't take off to go home until four. And it's about one now. So um, we're just chilling. And honestly, I'm okay with it because it feels so good under here. And so, much fun. I'm still getting sand out of my ears and out of my phone and my earbuds, but honestly, I feel like that's part of the experience. <laughs> I think I'm going to close the vlog out here until next time. Also, we do have more travel trips coming up later on in the year, so I'll try to vlog that as best as possible. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video. Bye guys. Sorry, excuse me.